Hi, I'm Melissa from Resilience Law, here to talk about getting Social Security benefits when you've been diagnosed with a mental health condition. I get a number of calls, uh, particularly from younger folks who say, well, hi, I've been diagnosed with depression, so I need to get on Social Security. Ultimately, it's not that easy. Uh, there are a few conditions where you can get Social Security as soon as you're diagnosed, but those tend to be extremely serious conditions that typically lead to death within the next few years, like certain types of cancers or diseases. Uh, mental health conditions are never severe enough that once you get a diagnosis, you're automatically eligible for Social Security. Uh, and the reason for that is that depression or any mental health condition can affect different people in different ways. There are plenty of folks uh, who go around with a diagnosed mental condition, but they're still able to perform their work or other work in the national economy and you would never know. Um, however, there are plenty of people and certainly I've helped many of them who are diagnosed with a mental health condition that makes it them unable to perform any work in the national economy. They're truly uh, suffering symptoms so severe that they're just not able to perform work. So a diagnosis alone is not what you need to get social security disability for a mental health condition. What you need is a lot of evidence and your word unfortunately doesn't count for evidence as far as social security is concerned. What they really want to see and what's gonna make up 90, 8% of proving your case is going to be medical records from treating providers, ideally M uh, medical doctors, as their notes are given the most weight. So if you're seeking Social Security disability for a mental health condition, what you need to do is see your doctors regularly, uh, see a therapist, but also see a psychiatrist, get a neuropsychological profile done if you can get one, if your insurance covers it, if you're able to afford it. Those can be hugely helpful in uh, supporting these types of claims, uh, get regular and routine treatment, follow your doctor's suggestions as best you can, stay on your medication, try more medications if your medication isn't working. Unfortunately, with mental health conditions, a lot of them do make it difficult to follow through on medical treatment, to stay on your medication regime. Um, and it, this is well understood within the medical community that these conditions are, are difficult to treat for because it's difficult for people to stick with treatment. But for the purposes of Social Security, it's vital that you're getting a ton of treatment. I know a lot of lawyers don't even want to take a mental health claim. I do take them, but it has to be on the condition that the claimant is getting a ton of treatment. Um, some red flags are people who haven't gotten treatment, haven't been in treatment recently, have chosen not to try medication for whatever reason. Uh, unfortunately, those claims are much more difficult to win. Claims that are going to be successful are ones where the claimant has a ton of treatment, regular treatment, seeing mental health providers, seeing medical doctors who provide mental health care as well, sticking with a medication regime. And ideally, unfortunately, outpatient and inpatient hospitalization is uh, very helpful in proving these claims as well, because it does show that the claimant has this significant level of disability. If you're seeking Social Security disability for a mental health claim or any claim, and you need some help, you want to talk about uh, your claims analysis, whether or not it may be likely to be successful, my name is Melissa at Resilience Legal. Give me a call. Let's get started.